started. Good morning, everybody. We'll just start with a brief little check-in. Um, just go around the circle, basically introduce yourself and say something that you just feel like saying today. Maybe about how your body is, how you're feeling in your body, or just generally. And, uh, I'll start. I'm Leslie Ann. Um, Andrew and I spent last evening with Buffy uh, St. Marie and her band, and uh, I don't think I'm actually touching that. There's so many off still really feel with incredible energies. I'm feeling really uh, grounded, but also very really spacious. So, so anything that doesn't feel particularly good for your body, don't do. Anything that I ask you to do that you don't feel like doing, don't do. You can just lie on your mat and relax, or you can walk around, or just move however you wish. So your practice, your map, your time. And I'm just here um, to kind of offer some suggestions. It's going to be a very strange class today because we're basically going to just play around. So instead of having a yoga flow, we're going to be doing a lot of stopping and starting. <clears throat> I got <clears throat> a Mother's Day present earlier in the week, which is, I think, the most incredible kind of present because it's a present I can share with other people, which is a set of yoga straps. So we're going to play with the straps today. And uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with yoga straps, but you really have a lot of fun with them. And there's a lot of things you can do with straps that you can do at home with a uh, scarf or a tie of a bathrobe or something like that. It's a really nice way to stretch. So we'll just uh, start by coming into presence on the back. Just take a nice, comfortable sitting position. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit on your knees. Just any way that you can keep your spine moving upward and your sitting bones in the lower part of your body grounded down to the mat. Gently close your eyes and bring your awareness to your breath. And just Take a few minutes to sense into your breath, feeling the inhale moving deeply into the body and the exhale moving out of the body. See if you can sense into the quality of your breath. Is your breath smooth and even, fast or slow? So in this morning's practice, we're going to use a yoga prop, we're going to use the strap. We're going to basically look at using the strap in three different ways. We're going to use the strap to create connection, we're going to use the strap to create extension, and we'll also use the strap to bind. So what I'd like you to do if you're interested is to be very contemplative this morning and bring some questions into your practice and see how a yoga strap might relate to some things in your life. So you can open your eyes. And we'll just take a look at basically a strap. How many of you have used a yoga strap before? No, okay. So then just some very basic instructions. The strap's eight feet long and it has a D-ring at the end. The way you make a loop with the strap is to just take the end through the D-ring, open the ring up, loop it over the top, and down through. So you can play with this, and this gives you a strap that you can make shorter by pulling on the top, but when you pull on the inside, Okay. Everybody get that? 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stand. We can use the strap to kind of open up across the shoulders and the chest, and we're also going to make a connection with the breath by using the strap. So if you take the strap, basically, in your hands like this, and we're going to do some stretching back and forth, but you might want to take the strap and twist it around like this. And this way that the strap won't slide in your hand and you won't have to worry about getting a rope or fingers. Okay. And just play around with moving the strap from side to side. One thing that's a really good idea to do is to keep the buckle somehow attached to your finger or be very aware of the buckle or you might So let's begin by making the strap as wide as you possibly can. Your arms are extended as far as they can. And then we'll just inhale and on the inhale, bring the strap up over the head and then exhale, bring the strap down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And once more, <coughs> inhale. Inhale, strap up, and then tip. Right side, inhale up, exhale to the other side. Exhale. And see if you can connect the movements to your breath. So that it's the exhale that bends the body, inhale that straightens it. Now once more up to center and shorten the strap a little bit. And then just play with this motion going back and forth. And when you get to a point where your arms start bending, just lengthen the strap a little bit. So we're just releasing along the shoulders. Strap up over your head. Bend the elbows and just slide it down the back of the body. Let the inhale glide your arms up and the exhale. And then this time when you come to the ceiling. Stop, inhale, and on the exhale, twist, and then inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist, inhale, back to center. Twist, back to center.
pull on your body or force yourself into a position. But we're just using the strap as a little bit of an extra extension. So we'll sit on the mat with the knees bent. Straighten one leg. Turn the other leg into an external rotation and bring of your foot up against the inner side. You can let this leg be slightly out on an angle. Heel on the mat with your toes pointing toward the ceiling. Now bend down and hook the strap on your foot. And when you put a strap on your foot, you can put it either up on the ball of your foot like this, or you can put it down on the heel. But it's, there's very tender nerve endings on the arch of the foot, so avoid putting the, the strap there. So put the strap on the ball of the foot. Take the strap in one hand. Inhale the other arm up over the head. And then on the exhale, using the strap, just very gently start pulling yourself, guiding yourself forward, hinging at the hips. And then when you get as far forward as feels comfortable, you might feel a nice stretch in the hamstring at the back. You can just let your upper body relax down on the exhale. Janus Shirsasana. And then you can look up a bit and you can move, slide your hands a little bit farther down the mat. Maybe extending a little bit more of the deep breath. Feel how your breath accommodates the shape of your body. How even though you're twisted and bent, the air is still able to find its way fully into the lungs. And then release. Sit up. Sit nice and tall. Root down through your sitting bones. And then once again, inhale. And on the exhale, begin to hinge forward from the hips, walking your hands down the strap. You're not pulling on the strap, you're just holding on the strap to create an extension of your arms. And as you're holding and feeling the extension that you've created with the strap, you might want to reflect on what things in your life do you use as yoga strength? What kind of things do you use to help yourself extend when you're attempting to do something that may appear to be a bit beyond your reach? And then inhale, relax, come up. Straighten your knees and give yourself a nice massage. Place your hands beside you on the mat. <clears throat> Push and lift up your hips. And then just let yourself sink down. And this will help align your spine. You sit back down. Take both legs out straight. Feet close together. 
We'll put the strap around both feet. And the same thing, what we're trying to do is not hold the top of our body onto the bottom body, but we're trying to create extension in the spine. So we're trying to pull the vertebrae apart so that we're creating fluid movement in the spine to keep us flexible. So we just inhale, <coughs> feel yourself moving up over your thighs and come forward using the strap to keep you moving toward the window. And then when you've gone as far as is comfortable for you, just let your upper body relax. You can bend your elbows out toward the side. Let your head hang heavy. Nod your head yes. Very gently. Very gently no. Traction in your muscles in your back of your neck. And then inhale. Walk your hands back up. The strap. Take the strap off your feet. So another thing we can do with this, this strap is to use it to extend the range of our arms. So we're going to do a really nice shoulder releasing pose, which is uh, the top body half of uh, Gomukhasana, which means cow face pose. So what we're doing, <laughs> if you look skeptical, this pose supposedly makes the face of a cow. And when you're in the full pose, your legs are bent like this, and your arms are behind your back, clasping each other. So supposedly your knees are making the nose of the cow, and somehow this is the ear, and whatever. Anyway, <laughs> it's called Gomukhasana cow face pose. So what we're going to do is work on just doing the arms because it's one of the best releases for tension across the shoulders and the upper back. So <clears throat> have your strap kind of, I would say get it so you can grab, you can hold on to the buckle so you don't whack yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to inhale the left arm out to the side. Turn the palm toward the back of the wall and then bend the elbow so that the arm is up the back. If you'd like, you can take your right hand and kind of help position. Now the next thing we want to do is inhale the other arm up and turn the palm and clasp the two hands. But instead of using the hands, we're going to hold the yoga strap in the top hand, bring it up, and then just catch the strap. Inhale and root down through your sitting bones so that you're Spine is nice and straight, and then you can slowly begin to try to walk your hands a little bit along the mat. When you find a place where that's as far as your arm muscles want to move this morning, just pause and take a few deep, smooth breaths. Press your head back into your forearm. That gives you a little bit of a stretch of the tricep as well. And then when you're ready, you can just release your bottom hand and then bring the strap over from your top hand. because we don't want an unbalanced cow face this morning, we'll go to the other side and we'll do the same thing. So you may find when you try this that one side of your body is more flexible than the other. So this time we'll inhale the opposite arm up. Sorry, 
I can turn the palm backward toward the back wall. And then bend the elbow. And then you can use your hand to the chest. back into the top arm with the back of your head. You should be feeling quite a nice stretch. If there's any pain or pressure in the shoulders, just release your lower hand with it. Some deep, smooth, even breaths. about things that uh, we use as yoga straps in our lifestyle, the so situations in our life that just popped into my mind this morning that uh, yoga straps got our backs. <laughs> so. And then release. lie on our back and do a few things with the strap on our back, but the way we're going to get to our back is we're going to go through Navasana boat pose, so sit, your sitting bones, and then just roll back a little so you're on the back edge of the sitting bones, the knees are bent. We're going to take the strap, put the strap around the balls of the feet again. You may want to play with this a couple of times until you have a nice adjustment. You'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll go through this pose. Uh, we'll do it once together, and then you can try it again with a different length, length of the strap. So we're going to inhale, lift our knees up, and then using the strap, pull back and into both. You can straighten your knees. That's great. You might need to come out of the pose. Very gently pull yourself forward. And you might want to play with shortening the strap or lengthening it and we'll go once more into pose. So rock back to the back edge of your sitting bones, bend your knees, and then lift and straighten. Suppose if you pull on the strap and you could probably get yourself rocking. So just try rocking yourself to the back, and if you don't wish to rock on your spine, just very gently get yourself down to your back. So lie on your back. Let the strap go and just take a moment to feel how the energy is moving around in your body. <coughs> feel the places where your body is making contact with the mat. And also bring some awareness to the places where your body is rising up away from the mat. Feel how you're supported, you're grounded, sinking down into the mat. At the same time as you're being lifted and your body's moving away from the mat. Bend your knees, plant your feet on the mat close to your buttocks. <coughs> Inhale and bend your right knee. <coughs> bring it towards your chest. Take the strap and loop the strap around the foot. And then we're going 
going to just do a little bit of active isolated stretching to stretch out and wake up the hamstring. So imagine that your foot is growing, your leg is growing longer through the heel. So push up through the heel toward the ceiling and then bend your knee and bend your knee toward your chest. And then grow, push up through the heel toward the ceiling and bend. Use the strap to kind of guide this motion. Make it nice and smooth. Getting the muscles to wake up and fire. Get ready for more passive stretching in a minute. And then bring your foot down to the mat, take the strap, and switch to the other knee, bend the left knee into the chest, with the strap around the ball of the foot, grow the heel up toward the ceiling, and then bend the knee toward the chest. Grow the heel, bend. both feet down to the mat, knees bent, and very gently begin to roll your pelvis and your knees from side to side, moving your bent knees as if they were windshield wipers car. <coughs> so just windshield wiper your legs back and forth. Feel how the contact with the mat is massaging along the back of the sacrum flat bone at the lower part of your torso, and relaxing the muscles that connect to the sacrum that often cause a lot of lower back pain. And then bring your knees up to the center. So the next thing we're going to do is you may want to sit up for a second. I'll show you what we're going to do. And you can arrange yourself in this. I'm going to take this strap and make a small loop. Through the D-string, open the D-string, top of one. And then make the loop about this size. And what we're going to do is go back on our backs and stretch out and relax the hamstring. So we're going to put the foot in, I'll do it with the other foot so it might be a little easier to see. And I'm going to let you organize and arrange this yourself. So you put your foot lying on your back and keep your knee bent and off. Straighten your leg as much as you can. If you can only straighten it like that, that's fine. Take the strap and put the strap around your body so that it's kind of under your upper back. This is so much fun. I haven't told Andrew this yet, but I think I'm going to sleep like this at night. Both and it's really great. So then you can take the loose end of the strap and you've kind of made a pulley. And you can just use this lever your leg. So get your leg up into a place where it's nice and comfortable. Take your arms and use your strap to pull it, your leg just a touch. And then take your arms out to the side. Bring your awareness to the back of your body and feel the back of your heart pressing into the mat, the sacrum pressing into the mat lower body. Don't use any muscles to hold your leg up. Just let all of the muscles in your leg relax and let the strap hold you in place. If you're 
feeling the hamstring in the back of the leg. Take your awareness to that muscle and try to breathe, bring some breath into the hamstring. And then you might wish to place one hand on the strap and just gently direct your leg a little bit more toward your head. Don't stress or strain. And then tighten the other end of the pulley. And then just relax back into that. Again, you can push gently toward the ceiling with the heel. Feeling the heel growing long. Feel the head of the femur moving up. And then when you're ready, grab onto the strap, let your leg come down. And then very slowly take your foot out of the strap and then put the strap on the other side. So one leg is up in the air and the other leg can either be bent at the knee or if you wish you can straighten that leg out and you'll see that that will also give you a nice stretch in the hip flexors in the groin. And play around as you wish. Breathe into the muscle on the backs of the legs. Adjust the strap. Guide your Toes a little bit closer to the face. And then just take your hands up to the side. Legs. 
you just take a moment to feel the contact that your body is making with the mat? You may feel yourself taking up more space, feeling more grounded and more stable. Now we're going to come up to sitting and there's two options of how you can get up to sitting. We're going to inhale our knees up toward the chest. Take your right arm and bend it up toward your head so you've made a space to roll onto and then very gently roll to the right and then push yourself up. Or if you wish, you can rock along your spine. so that you're actually giving yourself some support and stability with the strap. So this is kind of fun. I'm going to make a loop again with the strap. And you may want to get, go into the position and then come out and just. You're going to need a fairly big loop because what we're going to do is we're going to put this around the body, keep the buckle toward the front, and have the strap just around the upper
And now take each strap and put it over the shoulder. So the same shoulder that it has. Yes. So you reach back, take a hold. If you feel a bit awkward with the strap, um, last year I was teaching a course on props and I actually had to go on YouTube and figure out how to work the demon when I taught the class. So, so take a hold of the straps now and just pull on them gently. Pull your belly in so that your core is active and use the straps. You can see how it's pulling the shoulders back. And then take the strap around the front. And tighten it. And as you tighten it, you can fold a little bit more. So it's quite common to put this yoga pack backpack on and then go through the series of sun salutations so that you can feel how it is to do a pose with your body line. But I think what we'll do is we'll keep the yoga backpack on while we practice our balance pose. We've been doing a series of balance poses created by a man named Baxter Bell. So Baxter Bell's balance pose for this week is called the Weather Bay. And, uh, I think it would be easier to do this if you stepped off your mat onto the floor so that it's a little bit more slippery. So what we're going to do is pour all of the weight into your right, the right side of your body. So all of the weight is moving down through your right foot and you're feeling really grounded and stable. Inhale. Bend your left knee and take hold of your left foot with your hand. And then inhale the right arm up. And this is called the weather vein. And the next thing is to jump around to each of the four directions and back. And then when you get back, drop your head. Bring both feet to the ground. So inhale. And just close your eyes for a second. Feel yourself rooting into the ground. Feel your weight shifting and pouring into the left foot so that the left part of your body becomes very grounded, very stable. Inhale, bend the right knee. Bend the other arm up. And then hop around in the fourth direction. Great. Okay, so this is the yoga backpack. So if you'd like to try, we'll just go through a little brief uh, kind of upper body thing so you can see what it feels like with this one. So we'll just inhale, your arms up, and then turn the palms, bring the arms down. When you get about halfway, hinge forward from the hips. You get to a flat back, put your arms come down. Press into your fingertips, inhale, and on the exhale, pop your arms up to stand and take the strap off. Strap down side. Come near the front of your mat. <clears throat> Going to inhale. 
bend the knees slightly, shift the weight to the back of the heels, and then sink your buttocks down as if you're sitting in a chair. At the same time, bring your arms up, and then straighten, and once more, sink to Utkatasana, fierce pose. And then this time, when we sink down, we'll sink all the way down. Use your hands if you need to. Come down into a squat. And then very gently roll onto your back or just move back into your back. If you have any tightness or tension in your lower back, you can keep your knees bent. Find a position that's most comfortable to you, for you. And we're going to move into the final pose of the practice, which is Shavasana, corpse pose. So at the end of the yoga practice, we move into full body relaxation called Shavasana, or corpse pose. And this allows the brain and the body to integrate the different movements that we've been making, and allows the energy in our body to circulate. So bring your awareness to your feet to your toes, to the soles of your feet, to the heel and to the ankle, and tense the muscles in your feet as tight as you can. Tense, 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 and then relax. And once more, tighten the muscles of the feet, curl the toes, tight, tight, and then relax. Bring your awareness to your ankles, to your shins and the front of the legs, to the to the back of the legs and feel the shins and the calves muscles contracting and tightening around the bone. So contract the muscles of your lower leg, contract your kneecaps, tight, tight, and relax. And once more, contract the muscles. And as you're contracting, continue to breathe instead of holding the breath and relax. Allow your awareness to slide up from your knees, up your thighs, and feel the flesh on the thighs contracting in, feel the muscles tightening, the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the adductors, tense, tense, and then relax. And once more, tense. Bring your awareness to the belly area, to your hips and your pelvis, your stomach. Tense. Pull the energy in toward the center, to the midline. Hold. And then release. And once more, gather the energy and tense the muscles. And release. Now bring your awareness to the upper part of your chest, across your shoulder blades your collarbones. Feel the upper part of your body tensing. Pull the energy in. Tense, tense, tense. And relax. And once more, tense the muscles. And relax. And now your shoulders and your arms. Squeeze the fingers together. Tighten the forearms, the upper arms, the shoulders. And then release. Once more, tighten from the fingertips right up to the neck and release. Now bring your awareness to your neck. Bring your awareness to the fact that your neck has a front, a back, and two sides. And contract the scalene muscles in the neck so that you're pulling all of the muscles all in a circle around the neck into nice contraction. So contract. 
contract the neck muscles. And now bring your awareness to your head and your face. Clench your jaw, screw your eyes up tight, crunch your cheeks together, even feel your ear muscles contracting. Tense up the face, then relax. Tense the face once more. Relax. Now bring your awareness to your whole body. Look at your body from the tips of your toes to the top of your head to the tips of your fingers and tense your whole body in one enormous contraction. And as your muscles are contracted, try to breathe deeply, inhaling and exhaling deeply, and then relax. And once more, one enormous contraction Roll your toes in towards each other and then roll your toes out toward the outer walls. Roll them in towards each other once more and then roll them out towards the outer walls, feeling the release in the hips, pelvis. Roll your palms toward the floor and then roll them up toward the ceiling back toward the floor, and then as you roll them up toward the ceiling, feel the opening across the shoulder blades, across the collarbones, as if your heart was smiling up toward the ceiling. And then very gently allow your head to roll from side to side, across the occipital bone. Let gravity move the head more than muscular exertion, and then just let your head come to rest in the center. So feel your breath begin to deepen in your body. Feel with each inhale how your body is pressing firmly into the mat, how you're supported and held, stable and grounded. With each inhale, feel prana or the life energy circulating through the body. Feel this energy bringing a little bit of movement into your feet. Begin to wiggle your toes. Make small circles with your ankles. Begin to bring a little movement into your fingers. Wiggle your fingers. <coughs> Make small circles with your wrists. And just feel the energy beginning to Bring your feet together on the mat so that your feet are touching each other. And then on the next inhale, bend your knees and bring your knees up to your chest. Wrap 
your arms around your knees. Take a deep inhale. And then very gently you can rock from side to side a time or two if you wish to relax them on your spine. And then roll over onto the right side. And make a little pillow for your head with your lower arm. And just take a moment here to pause. Bring your awareness to the movement that we flowed through this morning. And take a little bit of time to feel some gratitude for the life energy that courses through us. When we come to remember that we all share the same breath, that we all really are an extension of one another, we come to understand the connection that binds us together. We are kin. We are walking each other home by helping and supporting one another. In fact, we are the yoga straps in our own and one another's lives. The next inhale, press your hands into the mat. Gently bring yourself up to sitting. See if you can bring your head and neck up last so you don't create any tension. So we're going to inhale our arms out to the side. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra. We'll just very gently touch just above the skin on the skin. Just kind of gently pull with the thumbs. We're going to inhale and we're going to end with one very long, deep, resonant pull. So we'll start with a low awe and then move up into the Aum. So we'll begin with an inhale to chant. Uh. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Go out and enjoy your beautiful Sunday. Thank you.